been around green schools for a long, long, long time. And I've kind of just learned to kind of step out there and kind of take charge. I was in the hospital with my father after an anaphylactic attack and said, I have to do something. I'm going to found a nonprofit organization, I'm going to call it Green School, a plea educate school on how to create uh, greener and healthier bodies, healthier schools, and a healthier planet. So in order to do that, it's really important that you understand science is everything. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, we focus on the integration of the T in STEM and technology. We also work to educate our students and schools on E-STEM, looking at the connection between environment and STEM. I was able, with Green Schools, they put me in um, an internship with Soul Solution, which is a nonprofit organization out of Boston that puts solar panels for zero cost down on low income schools. And while Netmuck's not low income, I thought it was still perfect. We actually, instead, we're able to compromise and we're going to have solar uh, array carports in um, the parking lots of two of the schools. Misco, um, the middle school, and Clough, um, which is a school, men it's a Menden school. I think um, a lot of corporations and companies have this mission of being focused on education and helping kids. However, there's a divide between schools sometimes and those corporations, and Robin and Green Schools have been a great link for us in making sure that we're connected to them. But today there's some 80,000 people working in Massachusetts in the field of clean energy, and it's growing rapidly. It is, it is an important part of the economy and an important growth sector for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and at the heart of that, again, is education and innovation, and STEM is at the very core. While we may not have fossil fuel resources here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, we may not have the fossil power, um, so to speak, um, we have brain power, and that is our calling card um, globally. Again, looking at the intersection of energy, environment, and education is the space that we're in, but Massachusetts dominates. We're always in the top of that. At the end of the day, all of these investments that you know Governor Patrick has made are really looking for um, fulfilling our responsibility to be leading for the next generation. I actually met the governor a while ago. It was kind of a um, meeting for like an organization, and I was one of the two kids there, and after he gave his speech and everything, I met him after and we started talking and you know, the most important thing that I heard in his speech was once you start something, you have to finish it and I'm kind of taking that with me.